The COVID-19 pandemic has crippled the world. We healthcare workers are trying to restore normalcy, but by doing so, we potentially are at risk of contracting the disease. We continue with our array of novel experiments regarding aerosol generation during various ophthalmic procedures. This time around, we hope to quash the fears regarding splatter during non-contact tonometry. A published article regarding production of microaerosols during NCT has built fear in the minds of one and all. Based on this, various ophthalmic bodies have issued guidelines to avoid NCT during the COVID-19 pandemic. To unearth this enigma, we collaborated with the Indian Institute of Science. The research scientists from the Department of Fluid Velocimetry could help us not only detect droplets, but also gauge their size, velocity and trajectory. We began with a frontal lighting setup using an ultra-high resolution camera coupled with an LED light. We were taken aback to know that no aerosols were generated in a normal eye condition. However, on installation of a single drop of lubricant, we saw that minimal aerosols were generated. And on using two drops of lubricant, copious aerosol generation was noted, which even traversed back up to the pneumatic port of the NCT. We then set up a fluorescein analysis for detection of any microaerosols. Our findings were akin to the frontal lighting setup with no aerosol production in a normal eye condition. Minimal splatter which was displaced onto the nose bridge was noted on installation of a drop of lubricant. Profuse aerosolization was observed when two drops of lubricant was instilled. We used mathematical modeling to compute how far these microaerosols could travel. Based on our findings, we recommend that NCT should not be performed in watery eyes or immediately on post-op day 1 where excessive watering is often noted. However, in normal eye conditions, we can be rest assured and perform NCT as a routine in our ophthalmic practices.